actually felt really good talking to him. He sounded like, you know, he's a really great person to talk to. And one of the things that I told him right off the cuff, because I knew that he said he wanted to have kids someday, is I was like, hey, listen, I just got to truly, honestly, like, I like you. I think, you know, we've definitely got chemistry. But the problem here is that I don't want any more kids. I already have three kids. I do not want to have more babies. And I do not want to raise any more babies. Stop it. Get some help. I'm at this point in my life right now that I will not even cohabitate with another man. With, like, we will not live together. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today we have an episode of Single Mothers demanding more and more things with each passing day and but today guys to counterbalance that out i have a present for you i have something really beautiful here it is wow now that's what i'm talking about <laughs> and look you know personality i think is the most uh, beautiful thing in people you can be unattractive but have a great personality to make up for that you can be really attractive but be absolutely horrendous as a person uh, and you immediately become a two out of a ten so will this woman provide something in terms of personality that will enhance her beauty or not well let's see no 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 i don't know what yeah i already hate this person not dislike no i already hate this person it, these people guys that do videos and they i know they shout they yell they break things they hit things they applaud while they're talking look if you want to be treated like an animal because you're behaving like a chimpanzee at a zoo i'm gonna treat you like an animal all right this is what you wanted what is wrong with men thinking that they are going to change my mind about not wanting any more children. So I was talking to this guy for a while. We actually never met in person. We met when I was actually, or started talking when I went down to this trip and took this trip down to Phoenix. And so I was talking to him and he was like very into me, very like, very motivated to have conversation with me. And actually we did a lot of FaceTiming almost every day. And we're just getting to know one another because he was going through some family stuff and I was going through traveling and all this other stuff. I actually felt really good talking to him. He sounded like, you know, he's a really great person to talk to. And one of the things that I told him right off the cuff, because I knew that he said he wanted to have kids someday, is I was like, hey, listen, I just got to truly, honestly, like, I like you. I think, you know, we've definitely got chemistry. But the problem here is that I don't want any more kids. I already have three kids. And in the beginning, he was like, that's OK not a big deal and he was like because as long as there's kids somewhere in the picture i'm gonna be happy with that so he made it sound like that was a-okay before we continue gentlemen i just want to re-emphasize yet again that women always have options you can be in your 30s single mother of three to one baby daddy i presume maybe it's more you can be extremely unpleasant just shouting and i Talking entitled, do you hear the entitled tone in her voice? Uh, you can be all of that, and there's still someone out there that for no apparent reason wants to commit to you. I just don't understand it. There, there are men that, you know, women will often say, oh, men just want one thing and it's disgusting. And yeah, it's like 80 to 90% of men, that's what they want out of these women. Uh, but there's the other 10%, guys, they have options, right? They have men who want to commit yet they are always single this is why this is why you do not get into committed relationships before you like feel it out for a while because it was only like two weeks in two weeks in and he was like saying something and then the whole kid thing came up again and he was like well i at least want like one more and i was like i don't want any and then he was like, well, we could get a surrogate if you don't want to have any more babies. And I was like, no, I don't think you're understanding me, sir. I don't want to raise any more children. 
and he seemed to think that I was going to change my mind. And I was like, no, I don't think you're hearing me. I don't think you're hearing me. I do not want to have more babies. And I do not want to raise any more babies. I'm at this point in my life right now that I will not even cohabitate with another man. With, like, we will not live together. We won't. I will always, as long as I have children under my roof, which is going to be for the next foreseeable 10 years, I will not be living and sharing bills with another with another man again. Oh, thank God. Now, <laughs> how dare you guys? How dare you uh, want things out of women, have your own preferences? I'm not saying that these wo this woman is the one who should fulfill them all, all right? If you don't want children, good, good for you. I mean, no one is forcing you. No one should be forcing you. What I don't understand, and I'm going to put the blame on the guys here, is... If you are having so much trouble with this woman and you clearly want something that she doesn't, why in the hell don't you go for another woman or stay single for that matter? It's going to be way better than dealing with this woman. This is what I don't understand. It pisses me off. I, I dislike men who do this with the same amount I dislike entitled women. And it's the men who are simps. It's the men who create this coflation of single mothers because they give them all the options. Woman, if this woman was born 100 years ago and she was a single mother of three at that age, with that personality, guys, she will be begging on her knees on the streets uh, to have some male attention, to, uh, for someone to provide, please save me, you know? But nowadays, even Miss Piggy over here has all the options, and this is why she's so entitled. This is why she doesn't care about this man. She won't care about the next one or the previous one. She has all the options, guys. She can continue doing this until she hits 50 or even women at 60 I've covered on the channel that still have options uh, because men just uh, won't learn to have some self-respect. Why are you going for this woman, man? I don't understand. I don't understand what point in your life you have to be. Uh, when you learn that she doesn't want kids and that is something that you have, go away. You know, don't, don't have to be mean or anything, you know. Uh, for all that I know, this woman didn't do anything particularly bad uh, other than having this personality, you know, but just doesn't want to have kids. Okay, leave the situation. Why are you still there? Why are you validating her? Why are you making her feel like she's the queen of the world and God's gift to any lucky man? Man, I, I, I don't understand these simps. They are creating this massive problem uh, that women nowadays you know, become so entitled because of guys like these. And then it's the good men who end up paying, okay? Uh, for all of these guys, it's the good men who pay. Because good women, they can still find good men. Bad women, they still receive attention and validation. Bad men, i.e. simps and, and, you know, idiots, uh, they still get their way. I mean, this is what makes them happy. Simping for women, having no self-respect. This is what makes them feel happy it's the good men who end up paying for this because next time they go out dating you have all these women who are zeros out of tens with massive expectations and let alone these six or seven out of ten women who you know in another scenario wouldn't be so entitled and would settle for guys their rank no now they are entitled and they feel like they deserve the 10 out of 10 men so massive problem right here these men are just, they're, they're so pathetic. I don't know, men, there's so many things in life. Why are you going for the single mother of three who also has a crappy personality? I won't. And there's big reasons for that. And I have my reasons and I don't need to necessarily explain them to, to everybody. But basically, it's I have my children that I'm trying to raise. I do not need to in, involve any more of that. Now, can we hang out? Can you have sleepovers? Absolutely. Can you stay for a couple of days? Sure. Can I go to your place and stay for a couple of days? Sure. But can you live with me? No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You will not, I will never move a man into my house and I will never move into your home. I will not, I will not. I will not do it. No, 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 no. So I understand that a lot of men might not like that. They might not want that and that's totally cool. I'm not your person, but I am the person for you if you like to have your own space too, because here's the thing, I don't wanna, it's already enough of like trying to co-mingle shit. The last thing I wanna do is fight with you over what 
pillows I'm putting on my goddamn couch. And I want to decorate my space girly if I want to decorate my space girly. So I think what this all comes down to is that I just need to date a woman. Even then I don't want to share pills and I don't want to share space because I'll get sick of her ass too. I just... Please don't, don't get women involved into this, okay? Men are suffering enough. Don't touch the other woman. So this woman, what essentially she wants is a situationship, you know? Like, we, we've come to a point in society where these women that should be begging on their knees for some male provider are actually having to say, guys, please stop wanting to commit with me, I don't want it, please stop pushing, you know, there are so many men uh, that want to provide for me and take care of another man's children, please stop it, man, I'm tired. You know, we've come to this point, guys, that even the overweight, extremely entitled and unpleasant single mother of three has to, you know, push guys away, please stop wanting to commit to me. Absolutely disgusting, what a bad year to be alive when it comes to dating, honestly. <laughs> you know, and this is why, guys, there's absolutely no excuse for women being single. Like, I don't know how unattractive do you have to be. I've mentioned this multiple times on the channel, but every woman on this planet who is not the top 10 most ugliest woman on the earth has options and can, you know, keep them. Not, not keep, but can be with a man. Uh, whether or not she can keep him is an, another discussion. But all women have options. All these women guys that are 30 years old, 40 years old, even single mothers, divorced, uh, missing one leg, missing one eye, every woman can get a man. The question becomes, does she want to and can, he, can she keep him? That's it. But there's no reason uh, for women to be alone because as we can clearly see, guys, even the, the, the zero out of tens have options. But now, guys, let's move on to our second woman today. Now, this one doesn't shout into the camera or break things or behave like a monkey. So we have that going for us. But she also is having trouble dating. So let's find out what that is about. I need help with dating. I need help with dating. So I'm going to come to my TikTok besties and y'all are going to help me. So here's what... <laughs> if I have problems dating, guys, my TikTok besties are probably the last on the list, you know, as to, as to people who can help me. I'd rather go looking for help, uh, you know, ad advice from a rock than the TikTok besties. Uh, but this is this woman's strategy and approach. So let's see. What's going on is that I, my schedule is not f all that flexible. Like I have to plan. I have to plan because I have kids and the guy that I'm dating does not have kids. So recently I had a conversation with him and told him that like, honestly, I'm envious of his free time. And he tells me, he's like, honestly, I'm kind of envious of your family. And I'm like, okay, that's valid. So grass is always green on the other side. Got it. But now there's, I have realized more to the story, which is that I realized I don't even like know how to word how to word it. I only have every other weekend off with my kids, which means that I have available time to hang out. And my top priority is I want to spend all that time with him. Whereas like he's so used to being a bachelor and he doesn't have kids. So for him, he's like, you know, I'm going to make plans with you, but that's not going to be my entire time. And that's completely valid. That's fine. I don't know how to feel about this because there's part of me that feels like, which is my past trauma coming in. It feels like, oh, like you don't want to spend the time with me, which is like not the case at all. And then there's the other part being like, he doesn't owe me all of his time. I'm just curious if anyone else has gone through this. And like, how do you have that conversation? Like, what do you even say? Like, hey, I want to be part of the conversation when you're making plans. Yet, they don't owe you anything. They don't have to talk to you when they are making plans on their time. Um, uh, it's so weird, but I'm so used to being a option for guys and never like the priority. And so as it should be right as it should be now, this one in particular, don't know her case, don't know why she divorced. So I'm going to speak in general. Uh, but th this is something that is, uh, specific of the last decade, a uh, woman just divorcing and getting a free pass on that, you know? Basically, you, you don't need any reason to divorce. Uh, there are no consequences to divorce, or there are good consequences, if at all. You know, so it's like we have this um, epidemic of women divorcing and then immediately jumping into other sort of relationships because they can do that. 
So marriage has become this sort of pathetic, disgusting joke uh, that doesn't mean anything at all. You know, long past are the days where marriage actually meant something. And, you know, when you he heard about two people getting mar married, you were thinking like, oh, you know, wow, they're bonded uh, forever. Not anymore. Marriage is, is nothing. It's a, a contract for a few months in most of the cases. And that's the thing, guys. Women can just leave the marriage and then immediately they have a plenitude of options. They can go for the hookups, as most women do. They can go for something serious, because as mentioned, they always have this uh, serious option, this guy who wants to commit. And it's crazy to me that, you know, the, the problem this woman is having is that, you know, it's a little inconvenient how this guy, he wants to commit to me, but uh, he doesn't want to spend as much time together. She doesn't even need to think about the problem that in an ideal world, you know, nobody will want to uh, marry her, especially not guys who have been single and have been grinding and have been working and going to the gym and all this. It's like these women guys, they get out of marriages and they go for the guys who have been building up their, their finances and their bodies and their minds and all that. They go for that and then they, you know, eventually have this little inconvenience, this little problem. But the problem should be that nobody wants you or the guys who want you are also divorced and have also went through all this, right? But no, guys, it's like today, as a man, women will wait you at the finish line and instead of building with you, they will wait for you to have it all and then, oh yeah, commit to me, <laughs> you know? Come save me, come take care of another man's children, uh, come into my life, provide everything for me, and it's like, you know, the question is, what's in it for the guys? Don't be like these men, guys. If you've been working all your life, you deserve something more than a woman that has already been part of a marriage and has broken it. You know, you don't deserve the same thing to happen to you. So that are my thoughts. Gentlemen, what are yours? Leave them down in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.